If you want to see growth on your natural hair, this is one routine you should never skip. I have seen so much improvement in my overall health of my hair just by being consistent on having a good routine. That's one thing I would say. Having a good routine and being consistent is one way to see improvement in the health of your hair. And also leading to hair growth, I would recommend you doing this routine once every two weeks or once in a week depending on how your hair feels about it. Having a routine around how your hair feels and what works for your hair is very important. For me, like doing my moisture routine once every week, and if I want to wash my hair, I do that once every two weeks. That's how I do my routine. So first off, you can see I'm just doing a quick wash. I'm not going to be in the shower or anything. I just want my hair clean, just fast and easy. I like simple routines because that's what works for me. And it's just easier than to spend your whole day doing my hair. And it's just fast and easier. So first off, I'm going to be saturating my hair with water. So I'm just making sure my hair is saturated with water. And you can see that I am massaging my hair because I'm trying to get my hair strands to open up so I can take in the water. So my hair can fully take in the water and be hydrated with water. So now we're going in with my shampoo. I'm using the Sunny Isle shampoo. It's supposed to be a moisturizing shampoo, but I wouldn't say it's moisturizing. But if you pair it with your conditioner, you could get good results. But for me, I see it more like it, cleans, it cleanses my hair and my hair feels clean after one wash. That's why I continue to use the shampoo. But I don't really recommend you using the shampoo. I'm using it till it's finished. I prefer the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Shampoo. It's so moisturizing and my hair loves it. But if you want to, if you want your hair to feel clean after just one wash, I would suggest you use this particular shampoo. So how I wash my hair. Washing my hair is very important, but one thing I focus on is my scalp and the ends of my hair. These are two places I focus on. My scalp being, you need your, you, have, you need to have a clean scalp for a good environment for your hair to grow. Because if you have built up and all the clog pods are tight, makes your hair not to grow. Contrary to what the other opinion people have that dirty hair grows, that's a lie. You need to wash your hair. You need to have a clean scalp and also to reduce dandruff like itching flaking and all of that you need to make sure your scalp is very clean and the ends of my hair because trust me if you're not taking care of your ends of your hair you're not going to see any form of growth on your hair because yeah you need to be able to keep your ends so you can see length so if your ends are breaking off you won't see length on your hair besides your hair is growing but if you're not taking care of your ends your hair is going to break off and get stagnant growth and your hair gets shorter so after doing my wash i just going to rinse in my hair and clean up those shampoo make sure you rinse your hair very well because you don't want to have shampoo residues on your hair just make sure you rinse everything off after doing that i just go straight into the next step so basically i'm just rinsing off my hair making sure i remove all the form any form of shampoo in my hair and then i squeeze it out make sure you squeeze out all the dirt from your hair and make sure your hair is as quick as possible as you can see here i was so tired okay now i'm going into the next step which is deep conditioning i'll be using this maya maya deep conditioner i love 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 this deep conditioner it softens your hair it strengthens your hair if you've done in done a hairstyle and your hair has been very dead like you didn't take care of your hair before you started your routine i would definitely definitely recommend this product it works so well with your scalp like when you're done you'll see the difference your hair will be so soft so and to be strengthened so i would definitely recommend this So now I'll just be putting my hair in a shower cap just to, I want to get steam into my hair. So I'll be putting my hair in a shower cap to keep my hair, like let water not touch my body. So yeah.
now this is how my hair looks after adding my deep conditioner i haven't rinsed it off but i'm just showing you guys my hair right now it's looking good and the scalp is looking better so now i'm going to be doubling up the deep conditioner i'll be using this Cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner because i want more moisture into my hair I like using this particular product because it's so moisturizing if you want to find a good conditioner i would definitely recommend the Cantu conditioner it is very good if you it's a very good it's very good for leaving conditioner but i use it as my deep conditioner there are other things you can use as conditioner you can use honey as a deep conditioner you can use a deep conditioner max whatever you want but i'm pairing it with my deep conditioner i used earlier so my hair follicles opens up and gets more nutrients i'm also putting my conditioner to make my hair extra soft because we are about moisture your moisture routine is very important because your natural hair tries better when there's moisture you know i've always given this example like you take your natural hair as a plant you know how plants thrive better when there's there's moisture that's how your natural hair tries better especially when you're loosening your hair when you're trying to take care of your hair always make sure you add water or a deep conditioner to your hair to prevent dryness and breakage of your hair so that's why i deep condition my hair to give my hair moisture if you have high porosity hair your hair tends to get dry easily so adding as much moisture as you can for your base for your hair to look more flourish and more like sumptuous so yeah this is very important so i make sure i'm that the whole hair gets the conditioner on my scalp like as you can see the way i'm applying it i'm applying it directly on my scalp and on my ends like i mentioned your ends are very important and your hair your scalp and your ends are very very essential so now i'm basically just adding my shower cap and i'm putting in my heat cap basically i'm just doing this to add heat to my hair so it, the deep conditioner can penetrate into my hair you can also use a towel but using a towel it takes longer it can take up to one hour but using this it can take up to like 20 minutes 30 minutes max and you're done and once i'm done i'll show you how my hair looks with my heat cap so you just keep it for like 20 minutes and then i'll show you the end result so guys i'm done with my heat with heating my hair you can see the smoke coming out from my hair like literally my hair is so soft guys like can you see like my you can see the new growth like literally i just this is like my, my one month challenge i've been keeping this here for like one month and you can see the growth the growth has been amazing literally so yeah once you're done so um we're going to remove it from our hair because it's a deep conditioner so after this we're going to rinse off the hair but i'm just showing you my hair right now like my new growths and everything how soft my hair feels and basically just that so now we're going to be rinsing off the deep conditioner i don't rinse my hair to be squeaky clean i don't use shampoo i will wash it away I just rinse make sure you you wash it like three to four times i don't like to wash out all the products even if my conditioner is not a leave-in i still want it to leave the conditioner on my hair in there i still like a, like a bit of the product it helps my hair to get not to get dry faster it that's what i am doing just going to rinse that off so i don't get built up i focus more on my scalp to get products off So now the next step is that we're going to be using aloe vera on my hair i have already sectioned my hair and you know aloe vera has so much benefits it strengthens your hair it has ingredients that helps your hair strengthen it also has like fatty acid and amino acid that are really good for your hair it's more like a juice because i didn't add water to it but i have a video on that i'll be linking the video on how i made my aloe vera juice this has so much benefit i can overemphasize the benefits of using aloe vera so i would definitely definitely recommend it if you want if you if you have dry scalp and you want so much moisture on your hair i would definitely recommend 
aloe vera it feels like i'm hydrating my hair i love 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 this aloe vera so after that i'm just basically opening up different lines of my hair and adding the aloe vera so i'll be doing that to every section of my hair and you can see as i'm adding it you can see the hydration it adds to my hair so i'll definitely recommend this so once i'm done i'll do this to all the sections of my hair basically just applying the aloe vera to my hair So now I'm done with one section of my hair. I'm moving into the next section. I will just apply the aloe vera directly to my hair and my scalp. You can see the difference when there's aloe vera and when there's no aloe vera. So now I'm just opening the parts of my hair to add more aloe vera. So this is my hair up close can you see the hydration of my hair like my hair is so hydrated and i've gotten new growth just by doing i've been carrying this challenge for like a month now so i'll definitely recommend it um you should know i'm also with an extension on my hair i recently made my hair so that's why i have extension on my hair so now we're going in with the virgin hair fertilizer i would definitely recommend this i'm sure most people know this if you're in nigeria this is like every in every african house you always see and see this so yeah it has this minty feeling which is very good for your scalp that's why i love it if you have dandruff or you have itchy scalp definitely add this to your scalp and your hair will feel so good like as you can see i'm applying it directly to my scalp the lines of my scalp i'm applying it to the lines of my scalp and make sure i massage it very well into my scalp so i can get like a relief so for my scalp i use lightweight oils on my scalp after doing that i'm just going to do some going with my finger and just massage my hair massaging your scalp is so so important if you want to improve blood blood flow in your hair which leads to hair growth it helps you your hair follicles to be stronger and leads to hair growth this is something i will always recommend you can always do it with your hands if you don't have like a massager it definitely definitely helps your hair grow
so next of all i'll be going in my scalp massager this is holy grail like it feels so good you can see i'm literally sleeping at some point because this scalp massager massages your hair very well it helps with your edges like i've told you guys the benefits of scalp massaging it makes blood circulation more on your hair which leads to hair growth like when blood is circulating more in your hair your hair tends to grow better and it's just relaxing it's like like think of your head like take it as a self-care like you're taking care of yourself you're pouring into yourself you're taking care of your well-being and after that i just go in with my normal hands to massage guys this is so relaxing as you can see i'm even sleeping at some point always remember to massage your the back of your hair so now i'm going in my sheer butter like this butter you can get it from any supermarket it's very very nice so as you can see i'm applying it to the length of my hair it helps to seal in those moisture you know we we'll rent in with my deep conditioner so now we're going to seal in that moisture so it doesn't dry up dry out So next of all, I'll be going in my Jamaican castor oil. I use this oil on my edges. Like I would definitely recommend if you have, if your edges are not growing and you want your edges to start growing, I always make sure I apply this to the edges of my hair because it has it's thick. So I would definitely not recommend you to rub it all over your hair. But for your edges, I would definitely recommend it. You rub it on your edges and also the back of your hair, guys. Don't forget the back of your hair. Like your back of your hair, very, very, very essential. And I also apply it to the ends of my hair. And yeah. So now I'm going back with my scalp massager just to get blood circulation around my edges very well. As you can see, it's so relaxing. Like my blood, blood circulation is happening in my hair and that leads to hair growth. So once you're done applying your castor oil, I would definitely recommend you braiding your hair after this. I when I when I'm done adding doing my moisture routine, I always braid my hair. I don't leave my hair down like this because I don't want tangles and my hair just touching different parts. So I would definitely recommend that, but I didn't do that in this video. But yeah, don't leave your hair like this, guys. Always like pack your hair up so that it doesn't tangle with other parts of your hair. So yeah. So now I'm drying off my hair with a hair dryer because my hair is wet and I can't sleep with my hair like this. So yeah, I'll just go in with my dry with my hair dryer and yeah, just watch as this video pans out. So this is how my hair is looking after so much moisture and adding so much like doing my routine basically so yeah after that i will just dry off my hair like you know why nigeria in particular it. and i'm just drying off my hair i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you learned like some tips and tricks which you'll be applying so leave in the comment section a green heart if you got up to this point you're a real og i love love you guys so much See you guys in my next video. Bye.